Good morning everyone. Today we will see how to do normality test using SPSS. There are so many ways to know if the data is normally distributed or not. First one is the simplest method is calculate mean, median and mode and check if those values are coinciding with each other. Second one more advanced and most commonly practiced is do normality test using Shapiro Wilk test. If significance value is more than 0 0.05, data is normally distributed. Third one, we can look at the normality plots like QQ plots. If all the observations are near to the diagonal line, data is normally distributed. Okay, then Fourth one, we can draw box and whisker plot. If both whiskers are of equal length, data is normally distributed. Another one, if box and whisker plot, if central line corresponding to median is at the center of the box, data is normally distributed. If skewness and kurtosis values are near to zero, then also data is normally distributed. Another, another way is also there. If Z score of skewness and kurtosis value, how we can calculate that, you know, you take skewness value divided by standard error of skewness value. Then you will get Z score of skewness. If you take kurtosis value divided by standard error of kurtosis value, you will get Z score of kurtosis value. If those Z scores are between minus 1.96 and plus 1.96, data is considered to be normally distributed. Now we can open the data set and now I want to know if systolic blood pressure is normally distributed or not. First method we will go to uh, we want to know uh, if mean, median and mode are coinciding with each other. For that you have to click analyze, descriptive statistics and go to frequencies. Okay. And you select the continuous data variable. Then go to statistics and look for mean, median, mode and you can select uh, any number of uh, uh, information like standard deviation you can check standard error or range or whatever okay then click skewness and kurtosis also you can check continue and click okay you can see you can see histogram with the normal curve that also is possible then we can see if it is normally distributed or not continue and ok ok uh, this output shows the result in this case systolic blood pressure mean value is 138.23 median value is 138 and mode is 144 Okay, mean and median are near to each other, but mode is slightly higher. Now, we can see any other information. Okay, histogram with a normal curve shows data is almost normally distributed. This is the first way to do that. Now, we can look the other method. Now we can check if the data is normally distributed using Shapiro will test and QQ plots. Okay. Then you have to click analyze descriptive statistics. This time you have to select explore option. You select systolic blood pressure. Okay. Then click statistics descriptives and if you want to know outliers it will show that also outliers you can check continue the plots you have to check 
descriptive will be we will select histogram we will deselect stem and leaf and select histogram and then please select normality plots with test okay then click continue okay we selected statistics descriptive and outliers continue and a plots we selected histogram and a normality plots with test then click ok the mean value is given median value ok have you seen squeeness and kurtosis value squeeness value is given kurtosis value is given and the standard error of skewness and the standard error of kurtosis is also given now you look for test of normality Shapiro will test shows that significance value is more than 0 0.05 so data is normally distributed then go to histogram yeah this one is the QQ plot QQ plot of systolic blood pressure all the observed values are coming very near to expected normal okay this line is expected normal okay. now we can see the uh, box and whisker plot both the whiskers are of almost equal line even if the lower whisker is slightly more than the upper whisker it is almost equal and the uh, median median line line corresponding to median is almost at the center of the uh, box and this box okay so what all things we learned from that this uh, analysis Shapiro will test it shows significance value more than 0 0.05 so the systolic blood pressure is normally distributed and then what else histogram shows almost normally distributed data QQ plot shows that all the observations are near the expected normal okay then box and whisker plot shows both the whiskers are of almost equal length or equal length and the median is almost at the center of the box okay earlier uh, earlier analysis shows that histogram with a normal curve shows that it is almost normally distributed mean median and mode are almost uh, near, near to each other mean is 138 median is 138 and the mode is slightly higher now we can check one more analysis we can do is by calculating the z value okay I am taking the uh, calculator and calculating the z score of skewness uh, minus uh, minus uh, three uh, okay, sorry minus uh, zero point three one four divided by okay uh, 0 0.374 okay it is coming as z score of skewness is coming as minus 0 0.8395 it is between minus 1.96 to plus 1.96 okay it is between that so data is normally distributed now we will calculate uh, uh, z score of kurtosis that is minus okay i will cancel it minus 0 0.275 divided by 0 0.733 Okay, so Z score of kurtosis is coming like 
minus 0 0.375 it is between minus 1.96 to plus 1.96 so according to kurtosis also data is normally distributed okay hope you understood thank you